So a very common thing that I see a lot of people talk about is essentially when should you replace your iPhone battery and or if you should replace your battery in general of your iPhone. Now luckily for us, Apple actually does have a battery repair program. It isn't free, but it is actually fairly reasonable priced. So if you're in a situation where maybe you have like a two year old iPhone, maybe like an iPhone 12 or iPhone 11, you may just want to go and check out Apple's you know, repair program and just see if you want to get your iPhone repaired from them. They use served five parts and it's definitely not that bad of a process. But I will tell you, even though I've had iPhones that have probably like 60% battery health on some of them, I don't really feel the need of replacing the batteries on a majority of them unless you get specific battery shutdowns or random reboots that can be attributed to the battery. So if your battery health is like 90% or it's like 85% and you're having an iPhone that you've used for about three years, that is not that bad. That is not that bad at battery health. However, if you've only been using your iPhone you know, for 11 months and the battery health is already at about 90% or you know, even less than that, well then that should be time for probably you know getting your battery health or you know battery replaced so it really just depends how long you've used that iphone and how long you plan on using that iphone so let's just say you have an iphone 12 right you bought it day one of launch so it's a little bit over two years old if you take a look at that battery health and that battery health is around 85 percent that seems fairly normal you know about seven and a half percent of battery you know health degradation over time that doesn't seem too out of the ordinary and I do think that's fairly understandable. However, if you do take a look at something like an iPhone 14, and let's say your battery health is already at 90%, uh, no, sorry, let's, let's say like 95%, well then that might be a little bit concerning. And although you probably don't need to replace your iPhone battery right now, you may want to go ahead and just wait it out maybe until the end of next year and see you know, what your battery health is at that point. So it again, it really just depends on how long you plan on keeping that iPhone. Now, if you bought a used iPhone, and let's say that used iPhone that you just bought ended up having a battery health that was way less than expected. Let's say you bought an iPhone 11 you know, in the used market, and let's say it's about 80% battery health on that specific iPhone. Well, in that case, if you plan on keeping that iPhone for another two years, maybe even three years, the best thing to do, in my opinion, would probably be to replace that battery of that iPhone. So if you plan on keeping an iPhone for you know two or three years, and if that iPhone is already degraded in battery, well, the best thing to do probably at that point is to go ahead and replace that battery because that peace of mind and that extra battery you're going to be getting may end up keeping you from, you know, end up upgrading your iPhone maybe in a year or two. So that pretty much covers that up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.